Continuous glucose monitoring is a way of monitoring your blood glucose or blood sugar continuously or more frequently with fewer or sometimes no finger sticks. In this video, we will explain what a continuous glucose monitor or CGM is, how it works, and how it's different from a blood glucose meter, as well as some of the benefits and disadvantages of using continuous glucose monitoring. Now, let's begin. There are three main parts to a continuous glucose monitoring system. The sensor itself, this is a small thread-like device that will be inserted under your skin with a needle. This is the part that goes into your body. Don't worry, the needle is used just to insert the sensor under your skin. It doesn't stay there. The receiver. This part of the system will receive the information from your sensor and display it on the screen. Some sensors allow the information to be sent to your phone as well or instead of using the receiver. The transmitter. Think about this part of the system as being the translator between the sensor and the receiver or your phone. It will take the information from your sensor and send it to your phone or to the receiver. There are expiration dates on the sensors. Most people do not have the sensors expire if you're using them routinely. You have to be careful about not storing your sensors in a very hot or very cold area. The CGM, Continuous Glucose Monitor, does let you know when it is time to change your sensor, and it is important to follow the instructions provided along with the system regards to changing your sensor. Some of the benefits to continuous glucose monitoring are, you can monitor your blood sugar throughout the night without having to poke your finger. You receive updates about every five minutes and you can monitor your trends in your blood sugar, where it has been earlier in the day and where it is trending now, up or down. You can add customized ranges for your blood sugar and the CGM will alert you with an alarm when you are outside of those ranges. A CGM is helpful for a person that does not feel when their blood sugar is low or when they have low blood sugar during the night time. If you have wide ranges in your blood sugar, very high highs and very low lows, the CGM can improve your blood sugar range and help you get closer to goal because the CGM will alert you when your sugar is high or low or when it is going to be high. Disadvantages. Some of the disadvantages to using a continuous glucose meter are, the number on the CGM is not as always exactly the same as your blood sugar. It reads a different level of sugar in your body called interstitial fluid, or the fluid in between your cells just under your skin. Because of this, there can be a lag time between what you see on the CGM and what you see on your blood glucose meter. Most sensors also require that you confirm the sensor with a finger stick blood sugar before correcting a blood sugar with insulin. A CGM is a device with a sensor that is inserted under your skin and will be worn for up to two weeks depending on which CGM you use. It is usually placed on your abdomen, but may also be placed in the upper buttocks or arm. This means you will have a device on you and you will need to keep the CGM or receiver or your phone in range in order to receive any information. Because the CGM is designed to alert you when your blood sugar is out of range, if you normally have big changes in your blood sugar or you tend to have a lot of highs and lows, the CGM will be alarming at you a lot. There are three types of continuous glucose monitoring systems. A flash CGM, allows the person to scan the sensor and receive data when they want to. However, this type of sensor does not give alarms to warn about high and low blood sugars. A real-time CGM will give continuous information during the day and updates about every five minutes with a new blood sugar information. Because it is reading continuously, it will provide alarms to warn the user when it is out of range of their blood sugar targets and may even alarm when their blood sugar rises or falls quickly. This type of sensor can be used as part of what is now called the artificial pancreas system. 
There is also a sensor that can be implanted under the skin and worn for 90 days. These two options will not be discussed in this video. You have just learned about what a continuous glucose monitoring system is, how it works, the benefits and disadvantages of CGM technology, and important points about CGM use. CGMs are not needed for everybody, but can be a very beneficial part of diabetes blood sugar management for many people with diabetes.